Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the concept of Langchain to you. I'm going to be doing three things. I'm going to be explaining what Langchain is very briefly. I'm going to be explaining a specific concept, which is the most fundamental and beginner concept inside Langchain, which is prompt template and use both of this to build a powerful application from scratch. So the application is something which you can use to build, let's say, a LinkedIn post generator or a YouTube video generator, a YouTube video description generator, any kind of application where you want to generate content for a particular platform like LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube or anything like that. But let's start from scratch and start with what Langchain is. I'm not going to be using any complicated diagrams or anything because it is very simple to understand. To start with Langchain, let me show you what the limitations of chat GPT are. You might have heard of chat GPT which is based on a large language model. And what ChatGPT does is it can talk to you like a human does. Now the point is when you have something as powerful as ChatGPT, why do you need anything like Langchain or anything else to make it more powerful? So I'm simply gonna go to ChatGPT and search. I'm simply gonna search what is the term. I'm simply going to search what is the temperature right now. So what it tells me that it does not have the ability to browse the internet to, to even do something as simple as getting the weather right now in whichever area you live, you cannot do that using chat GPT. So that is just one example of a limitation which occurs because it does not have the access to the internet or tools like Google search. So Langchain is a framework which is just a method for you to allow your language model connected with different data sources, connected with different tools, have memory and context about what you talk with it so that it can be much more powerful. And that's all I'm going to tell you about this. That's all you need to know at this point. Any diagram or frameworks you see of Langchain are just this, connecting your language model to multiple things to make it more powerful. So straight away, we'll get started with the most fundamental topic inside of it to help you get a better understanding. Now you can look at the official Langchain documentation to go through about this in more depth, but you can see that's exactly what it says. It's a framework which allows your app to be to have access to data and interact with its environment, which is basically interacting with different tools in its environment. So now we're going to use this knowledge to build an application which can generate posts, LinkedIn posts for us, YouTube video description for us, any kind of content you want to generate basically. So the first thing which you want to do is install the Langchain OpenAI libraries and then we are going to be importing certain libraries and I'll walk you through which functions and classes we need when we get to that in the code. The first thing is we are going to create a LinkedIn post template also called as a prompt template. Now we are, I'm building an application which will generate a LinkedIn post for me whenever I just give it a simple topic. So why do we need a prompt template and what is a prompt first of all? So whenever you're talking to ChatGPT, whatever you ask it, whatever question you give it is basically a prompt. And by giving it a template, we basically structure it in a proper manner. So for example, whenever I'm writing an email, there is a template which I follow, right? There is going to be a certain way of starting the email, a certain way of ending it. And then there is the personalized content in between. Similarly, if I want to build an application which can generate a LinkedIn post for me, I'm probably going to give it some information like, hey, ChatGPT, create a LinkedIn post for me on the XYZ topic, make the post for 150 words and make it engaging for anyone between the age groups of 18 to 40 or something like that. So most of the things in my prompt is going to stay the same. The only thing that's going to be changed is the topic given by the user. So I'm going to write a template to write a LinkedIn post for my company Aviros where I used to work at, which is a video AI startup. So I'm writing a description for helping the large language model write a LinkedIn post better. And I want the post to be on the latest app and I give a placeholder over here that we are launching. Keep it brief and under 150 words to advertise its potential customers across industry that can be relevant in. So you can modify the template according to whatever you want the particular content for. The only thing that's going to be changed is the user input over here. Whenever it, my company wants to create a post on a new application, let's say a face detection application or a number plate detection application, it can simply use the same template. The only thing that's going to change is going to be the app name. So you can simply use this template for any application you want. You can write, let's say, write a YouTube video description for my YouTube video 
which is going to be targeted for people between the age of 18 to 30 and the title of the video is going to be XYZ again. So this is a template over here. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to provide an API key to my open AI which allows access to my open AI model and I add it in the environment variables using os.environ. This is important that you do this. The link to get the API, I'm going to put this in the description. Of course, you need to buy that API because it allows you to access the API and build different applications on top of that. I've shown this in my previous video as well. So you can find that. Next, I'm using a function called as prompt template from, from the Langchain library. And I'm going to basically provide it two things. One is the input variable, which is going to come from the user, which is going to be the app name. The second is going to be the template, which I just wrote over here, which is basically the template for my post that I'm going to be writing. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it access to an open AI large language model over here. And I have to specify what the model name is. There are different models that you can access, which are suited for different applications. But for most cases, you can simply use the GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is one of the cheapest models and works the best for its given price range. Temperature equal to zero basically indicates that I'm going to keep the creativity to a minimum. We can, if you keep it, if you keep the temperature as one, the creativity is going to be maximum, but the model's outputs are going to be less determinable, are going to be less predictable. The next thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a LLM chain. So what I'm going to basically do is I have a prompt template. Whenever a user gives an input, the template is going to be formatted based on the user input. And then that entire string is going to be sent in to my LLM model. So I'm basically creating a chain to connect all of this together. So to the LLM chain, I'm providing it access to the large language model. I'm also giving it access to the prompt template I've created and whatever output is given by my large language model, I'm going to give it the key as post and verbose equals to true basically make sure that whatever it's doing, it communicates that to me as well. So once that's done, I can simply call my LLM chain like this and give it the input variable, which was by the keyword app. And I give it a particular app name, like let's say cattle detection. So I simply hit enter and I can see it's entering a new chain and what the prompt looks like after formatting. So this is how the prompt look like which basically says the post is on the latest app cattle detection that we are launching and write a 150 word post for it. So it automatically understands that it's for a video AI startup. So the application is also going to be on video AI. Based on that, it gives me a post like this, which, which is pretty impressive. It gives it to me with hashtags, which I can use and it looks pretty good. Now the power of a lang chain framework is I can create multiple chains. So basically the output that I get from here, I can feed it back into another large language model as well, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm create, I'll create a second template wherein I'm writing as an investor in video AI startup, review this post and suggest changes that can have an higher impact. So I'm going to be using an, another LLM model, make it believe that it's a veteran in the field of video AI and use its knowledge to judge the previous output by another LLM. So we can use these multiple templates, multiple chains to create more powerful application. So let's say you can create a LinkedIn post and based on that, maybe you can create a Twitter post, a shorter Twitter post based on that or anything. The point is you can chain multiple outputs together. So I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to call the prompt template function and I'm this time the input variable is going to be the keyword post over here. And I'm going to give it the review template this time, which is going to format. Now again, I call the LLM chain where I give it the same large language model with a different prompt review template over here. And whatever the output this model gives me is going to be stored with the keyword of review. Now, since I have two large language models working, one for generating a post and another large language model for criticizing it, I'm going to create a sequential chain wherein I'm using multiple LLM chain. One was to create the LinkedIn post. The second was to review it. And the input to the first large language model was the app name. And there are two outputs this time by two consecutive LLM models with the outputs as outpost and review respectively. And verbose as usual is true. 
so i'm going to call the same chain and i'm going to let's say give it the same app name cattle detection and see what happens so cattle detection would is basically an application that can detect cattle or livestock in any ca- uh, video frame so it enters the first chain with the prompt to create a linkedin post after that the output of this first llm model will go into the second llm model So as you can see, the first LLM model is written over here with the keyword of post, wherein it wrote me a good LinkedIn post about the application, and over here is the review by the investor, where it says the LinkedIn post is engaging and highlights the potential benefits. However, there are a few changes, and it gives me changes like start with a better hook, like let's say revolutionize your livestock management with Aviros cattle detection app, and so on. but you can see it gives me good insights and the point is you can use multiple llm models to create a chain like this using prompt templates so that was all for this video in this video we talked about what lang chain is what prompt templates is and how you can use that to build applications in upcoming videos we're going to highlight different components inside lang chain how you can you connect it with multiple tools agents memories context to build even better applications So if you did like this video do like it and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you again in the next video also do let me know what you want to see in the upcoming videos and thank you for watching